things! Excitement! I am Haru Ren. Welcome to my review of episode 25 of Bakugan Gen 3. So, spoiler warning, if you haven't seen this episode yet, go back and watch it now. But if you have, sit back, relax, and enjoy my review of Bakugan Gen 3 episode 25. The first part is, don't fight for me. Griffin and Juno helps Mia's dad mass produce the vaccine, and meanwhile, the rest of the misfits are trying to contain the rampaging Bakugan with all the other clans watching. <laughs> dad, are you seriously worried about your hair right now? Wow, okay, well, that takes attention away. But now they get serious again, with Dan broadcasting a pretty heartfelt message urging the other clans to join forces with the misfits to help defend the planet. But Smoke Voice by Julia Polo reminds us that Drago is the one who got the Bakugan there in the first place, and now Drago expects everyone to clean up his own mess again. Yeah, after Nilius tried to kill y'all! Cotton, you are the reason we are stuck on Earth. You had a part in opening those portals. And now you ask us to follow you. You want us to rescue you from a fire that you started. Cancel Drago! Cancel Drago! Oh great, the Bowser kid is back. It's -a me, a lawsuit. Huh? I'm truly sorry for what I did, but huh? think about the bonds we've created on Earth together. The misfits taught me just how powerful those bonds are. Don't fight for me. Fight for yourself. Fight for your brawler. But let's do it together. This sequence is really an emotional moment for the main characters, especially with Drago. He did make a mistake trying to do what is right, and this is really what makes Dragonoid a relatable and compelling hero. He doesn't deny what he did or try to make excuses for why he did it, which would have been easier, but instead he focuses on the most important things like the partners and the world they are living in, and the great threat V and Nilius presents to all of them. Kyle Derrick and Mike Taylor does a really good job for this scene, trying to persuade everyone to help. It's given a pretty big emotion emotional impact. I've seen each and every one of you brawl. I know how powerful you are, and I know if we join together, it won't matter how strong our opponent is, because united we can beat anyone. But when it seems like their persuasion failed, they go right back into the action, and rather than having Drago going in a fast-paced hand-to-hand -hand action, we get like one or two at a time attacking Drago in a really slow-paced fight. But just when Drago seems done, Smoke saves him and the rest of the Bakugan arrive in a very Avengers Endgame-esque style, only without the actual dramatic tension the movie presented. But this does make for a pretty cool scene that is a really feel-good moment for the Bakugan. Huh? You shouldn't have lied to us about what happened on Destroyer! Our brawlers are our family and this is our home. And we will help you to protect it. Come on everybody, it's time we brawl together! <laughs> Man, this action sequence, though, with so much Bakugan that we have gotten to meet throughout the season coming together for a huge payoff, this is really awesome. Shut your bitch ass up! <laughs> Bakugan, it's, it's all our fault! <laughs> Holy crap, can you shut the hell up? Why is Chip even here? You and the Misfit Clan brought this on us! You're ruining the city! Oh, look out! Huh? Yes! <laughs> yes! They killed off Chip! Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> they killed off Chip! Yeah, he's dead! Uh-huh! Uh-huh! Uh-huh, yeah! He is so dead! <laughs> they killed off Chip! Finally! Thank you! Oh my god, I never thought they'd actually do that, but they did. Thank you! God! Man, this shot here from Vias actually looks like a war going on. Very nice touch. Brother! Okay, Hammerhead's model is standing facing a possessed Bakugan, and then right in the next shot, he's all of a sudden standing beside TC. They literally just changed the backdrop, and that's it! But in a very badass moment, V turned the city into one big arena covered in bams, and we got this really cool shot with V and Dan. And we move on to destroy it all, where the fight is still happening. Like this, there's just too many of them. What the heck is up with Mia's face here? V is absorbing energy from the top of Illusion Tech to power up the Bakugan, while Drago turns into Gold of Illusion to fight the swarm. And rather than having cool, smooth animation of Drago slashing multiple enemies rapidly, it's just still picture slideshow. Lame. 
Meanwhile, V is sucking power from the building. Juno and Griffin can't finish the vaccine. And then we just cut back to Hammerhead fighting. And then we cut back to the lab again. Why? It just feels so out of place. That thing stops a Bakugan from growing, right? If we can repurpose it, we can prevent destroying the lab while getting the energy we need. So Bruiser actually reveals that he's really smart, but hides it to avoid doing favors for people. Man, even Bruiser is getting development. But V's use of the mask causes him intense pain, and just when the horde of zombies is getting too much, Griffin and Juno show up with more super soaker vaccines and turns the tables around, curing all of the infected Bakugan. Really? Still frame cuts of Juno instead of actual animation? What the hell is going on? Was the budget running out? is it when Penji is helping to save the world, he's still more annoying? But the vaccine works and the rampaging stops, but V is still here and we get a really heartwarming moment between V and TC. TC changes Vicar's heart with compassion, reminding him that their parents changed the world by helping others and not hurting them. I'm just here to help my brother. You rejected me! You chose to leave! I don't need help! I don't need anyone! This isn't what our parents wanted. They helped people in need, right? After your parents died, you wanted to protect him. You have a good heart. Ah! Andrew, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> the story here is so heartbreaking, pretty much saying that the cure for Vicar being infected by the evil of V was really kindness, and that has made the mask slip off and brought Vicar back. TC now has not only his memories, not only his true identity, but he also now has his brother back. This was amazing. But Nelia shows up and not wanting to quit while he's still alive, blasts Vicar off the roof. Wow, they're just killing people left and right in this season. So that was episode 25 of Bakugan Gen 3. Let me know your rating of the show was in the comments down below. This episode was pretty good, showing some great action and some great moments to conclude the final act of the virus arc, and although there may have been some questionable direction in the budget slashing showing its ugly head a few times, the episode overall wasn't bad. We get the redemption of V, and now we got our true final boss of the season, Nilius, to square off with in the next and final episode. Oh, and Chip being killed off of the series? Good! That was a public service to us all! So for now, I'll give this episode a Baku good. Thank you for watching this review of Bakugan Gen 3. Be sure to press the like button and give us a subscribe for more awesome Bakugan content. I've been Haru Ren, thank God for Rapid Fire, and thank God that Chip is dead. Bye!